Good morning and welcome to NYFP's At The Open for Tuesday, November 1st, 2011. As we kick off today's trading session, the major U.S. stock averages continue to extend weakness from the previous session. Right now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, NASDAQ, and S&P 500 are all lower by at least 2%. Now, the Eurozone is back in the spotlight alongside economic data pointing to a further a slowdown in global economic growth. Now, starting out with the Eurozone, uh, an unexpected Greek referendum on its austerity measures surprise the markets. And in terms of global PMI manufacturing, uh, China's uh, October reading declined to 50.4 from 51.2 in the previous month. The UK PMI figures also came in uh, lower at 47.4 uh, from 51.10 in the previous month. Later on this morning here in the US, we will be getting ISM manufacturing for the latest month. And moving on to uh, the uh, latest in company news, um, MF Global continues to be in the spotlight. Now there are worries about the spillover uh, a day after it filed for bankruptcy. Also in financials, Credit Suisse shares are down by over 10% uh, on this morning. And this does come after weakness in their third quarter earnings. Also Credit Suisse announced that they would be cutting up to 1,500 jobs. And moving on to M&A action, BBNT will be buying Bank Atlantic for $3.3 billion in deposits. We're seeing shares of BBNT down by 4% and shares of Bank Atlantic rallying by 86% on the session. Now moving on to commodities, crude oil and gold continue to extend weakness today. Crude oil is trading right above the $90 a barrel level, while gold is down by over $30, currently at 1693.70 an ounce. And given the risk aversion we're seeing in the market, the US dollar continues to see higher trading against the majors, including the euro pound and the yen. And that does wrap it up for a year at the open for Tuesday, November 1st, 2011. Thanks for watching and have a great day.